My title is Director of IT and Marketing. Uh, I've been with the company now for six years. Uh, started in an IT role, uh, eventually took over the IT department. Uh, in the last year and a half, I've been overseeing the marketing department as well. Well, this uh, location is very important to us for a number of different reasons. So uh, it's our 25th location. So uh, it's the first time that Busy Beaver has been to that store account since uh, before the bankruptcy in the 90s. Uh, this is considered our flagship location because of the product mix, uh, because some of the unique technologies we have here. And uh, it's also pretty unique because it actually used to be uh, a movie theater, which our owner and his children would visit quite often. Very cool. So we're here to visit. The main thing we want to see today is the robot. Tell us about this robot that you have in the store. We uh, were talking about opening up our 25th location. Our owner tasked me with making it the most technologically advanced uh, location, not only in our company, but in the area. Um, so I was thinking of different technologies that uh, would meet that requirement, but would also be beneficial to the store employees um, and make sense for our industry. So uh, the autonomous robot kind of made the most sense. Uh, Pittsburgh has a strong uh, robotics presence because of Carnegie Mellon. Um, so I began reaching out to some local vendors uh, about possibly working with them. Uh, but ultimately, we end up working with a company called Badger Technologies out of uh, Kentucky. Okay, so tell me, what does the autonomous robot do in your store? So in our location, we're focused on inventory counting um, and planogram integrity and price integrity. Uh, so what the robot does is every evening, it scans the entire store, uh, notices out of stocks, misplaced items, um, incorrect pricing, which doesn't happen at this location because of the ESLs. Uh, but yes, it addresses issues like that. Um, they do make other models that um, address like hazards on the floor, spill detection. Uh, but for us, it makes more sense to have the inventory uh, featured robot. Okay, so how much time do you estimate this is saving your employees every week? Well, at an average location um, where a store is significantly smaller than this, uh, we're finding it takes them a whole week just to scan the store one time, uh, you know, using human power. Uh, this store is about 40% larger than our average location and we're scanning it every day. Uh, so the efficiency and accuracy uh, is just tremendously um, increased just by that fact alone. Um, and then actual uh, reporting uh, and um, highlighting the issues is probably cut down uh, by 50%. So uh, would say that uh, between scanning the store, marking all the issues, it might take an average store uh, 12 hours in a week uh, to go through the entire store where they're getting a report that can be reviewed typically within an hour to 90 minutes and then get that off to our merchandising uh, department to make sure those issues are addressed. Right, so along with saving time, what are some other benefits of the autonomous robot? So uh, we found that um, generally speaking, you know, our associates prefer to be engaging with the customers and helping customers. Uh, they don't want to be putting away tote. They don't want to be scanning for items out of stock. So uh, they want to work here so they can share their knowledge and help customers. Uh, so we find that they have more time to engage with the customers, which also results in a better customer experience.